So the basic premise of the acceleration is that we need to move from this stationary position up to maximum speed as quickly as possible. So to do this, we need to apply huge forces to the ground, and we also need to position our body so that all of our forces are aligned down the track and that we're positioned in a way that we can fly horizontal forces to the ground. So this is why we generally adopt this low starting position at the beginning of the race. In lowering our center of mass, it deepens this knee angle for us to push against the ground and it gives us more time to apply force so we're going to apply higher forces in the start. Later on, as those force requirements diminish, we can come up into a higher hip position with lower knee angles that allow us to increase our stride length and our stride frequency for our top end running speed. So our basic acceleration positions are those that are going to allow us to push against the ground and align our forces down the track. So for this, we take this forward lean of the trunk. So now we can see that our body is orientated through that 45 degree angle. So when I push against the ground, it's going to push me through that 45 degree angle as well. So what we're looking for here is that with every step, we maintain this body position and we're looking to strike back with our foot under the hip. Anytime the foot strikes ahead of the body, our shin's going to be pointing up and our force is going to go up. And even further ahead, we're going to get this braking effect. We have to wait to clear the foot before we can push. So with every step, we maintain this position and we're trying to strike back directly under the hip, ready to push down the track.